In this video, we're going to make the Aerotech Planes Larry Melvio Foam Board Chuck Platter. So get your materials in order and we'll go ahead and start. So we're going to start with the fuselage because that's about the only thing that we actually have to build. The other parts just kind of build on to that. So we're going to start with this section right here. And we're going to take, well actually, nope. First, you're going to bevel cut the ends of all of these sections. So, he, can you see? Here, 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 and here. Nothing right here, because you don't, you don't need to. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to start by bending this piece, this section right here together. So we're going to take a barbecue skewer and we're going to drag it through these score cuts. Now we're going to bend them each individually. And then we're going to test fit it by bending it up like that. And we're going to try to make a symmetrical shape all, over, all the way around. That looks pretty good. going to put some glue on this end and then repeat that process to get together and then make a symmetrical shape. about 30 seconds for it to dry. Wait another 10 seconds. And it should be dry. Okay, so with that section done, we are going to do the section in front of it. So this one right here. So we're going to do the same thing by dragging our barbecue skewer through the score cuts. Bending them each individually. And then we're going to take one side and test fit it against the other one. Trying to line up these score lines, or bend lines, whatever. And that looks pretty good. So then we'll put glue along this then we'll bend it up again and line it up with the bend lines don't like it with your fingers that was that was bad Thirty seconds for it to dry. I 
that you can see these lines line up. That's exactly what you want. Wait another five seconds. And it should be dry. So now we're going to test fit the other one. Looks pretty good. Try to line up all the lines. So now we'll put take our hot glue again and put glue all along the side of the the foam and on this end piece. up again. Ow, don't touch the hot glue. Try to line up all the lines. We'll take a scrap piece of foam and wipe the excess glue. And we'll hold it there for about seconds. Wait another 10 seconds. should be dry. Then we're going to do the section in front of that which is one of the hardest sections to do because it makes a point. So we'll drag our barbecue skewer through the score lines. Oh, missed one. And then we'll bend each individually and we'll take it and test fit it that looks pretty good so now we'll take our hot glue again we'll put glue along this side And we'll bend it up again. Line up the lines. Take a scrap piece of foam. Wipe the excess glue off. And then we'll hold it there to dry for about 20 more seconds. Overall, this is a pretty easy build, so you just bend it up and glue it. Then you cut some holes, stick the wing and canard in, and you glue it. And you're pretty much done. So now, we'll, that's, now that that's dry, we'll go ahead and test fit the other side. And over at the end, right here, you see how it doesn't line up? You just kind of squish those together with your fingers. And it should make a pretty good seam. So that looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and take our hot glue on. 
and we'll put glue along here and along this side of the end piece. And we'll bend it up again. Make sure that it's all sealed tight. Gosh. Make sure that the lines line up. And then we wait like 30 seconds for it to dry. There is this little gap right here that I can just close that up with a little bit of hot glue in there and then push it in. So now you have your front nose portion of your fuselage done. All these parts don't fully connect with themselves because that you need to put the canopy there, canopy cockpit thing, right there. So now we'll do this section right here and we'll go ahead and drag our barbecue skewer through the score cuts. Bend them individually. Then we'll test fit it. That looks pretty good. So we'll grab our hot glue gun and we'll put glue along the side. We'll put our hot glue gun back and we'll bend it up again. Right, make sh making sure to line up the lines. And then take a scrap piece of foam and wipe the excess glue. And we'll hold it there for another 15 seconds for it to dry. Okay, now that that section is dry, we'll go ahead and do the next section. So we'll test fit it by bending it up. That looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and take our hot glue gun and place glue along this side. And we'll put it back. And we'll bend it up again. Oh gosh. And we'll take a scrap piece of foam and wipe the excess glue. And, and while it's drying, make sure that you're lining up the lines. Okay, we'll wait another five seconds. And that's dry. So now we'll do the next section, which is this one. We'll take our barbecue skewer, drag it through the score cuts. And we'll bend them individually. And then we'll test fit it. That looks pretty good. And then we'll 
take our hot glue then and put hot glue along the sides of the foam. Then we'll bend it up again and make sure to line up the lines. Now we'll take a scrap piece of foam, wipe the excess glue, and hold it there to dry for about 30 seconds. Another five seconds, and we'll do the other side. I'll test fit it by bending it up. That looks pretty good. So we'll take our hot glue then, put glue along the sides, and we'll bend it up. Line up the lines, grab it, and then wipe the excess glue with a scrap piece of foam. And we'll hold it there for about 30 seconds to dry. So with this plane, you can actually the way I designed it allows you to actually instead of instead of having these score cuts, to just not cut those on onto the foam piece, and then peel the paper and repeat and do the same exact thing, and it would give you an entirely round Larry Mobile, which I think would look pretty cool. You might do that. I figured that out a little while ago. So, now that we did that section, we're going to do the next one. Which is, if you didn't guess it, this one. So we'll take our barbecue skewer again and drag it through the score lines. And we'll test fit it. Bending it up, making sure that our lines line up. That looks pretty good. So we'll let go, grab our hot glue then, put, oh gosh, put hot glue along the side. Then we'll bend it up again, making sure to line up the lines. Grab it. Then we'll take our scrap piece of foam and wipe the excess glue. And we'll line up the lines and hold it there for about 20 more seconds to dry. Okay, so now that that side's dry, we'll do the other side. Bend it up. And then, we'll line up the lines, which that looks pretty good. So then we'll take our hot glue gun, and put glue along the side. Bend it up. Touch the hot glue. And then we'll hold it there. Get our scrap piece of foam that disappeared. 
and we'll wipe the excess glue. We'll line up the lines. Hold it there for about another 15 seconds. We'll do the last section, which is this one. So we'll take our barbecue skewer, we'll drag it through all the score lines. Be careful with these end ones. And then we'll bend them individually. And then what we're going to test fit is these three. Because this part, you're not actually going to glue to the fuselage because it sticks out. So we'll bend this up, making sure to line up all the lines, which it does. We'll let go, take our hot glue gun, put glue along the side and then we'll bend it up again and hold it there and we'll grab a scrap piece of foam wipe the excess glue and hold it there to dry seconds. And we'll do the other side. Test fit it by bending it up. We'll line up the lines. That looks pretty good. So we'll let go of it. Grab our hot glue gun. Put glue along the side, then bend it up again. And then we'll grab an excess piece or scrap piece of foam down here and wipe the excess glue. And we'll hold it down for another 20 seconds. Now that that's dry, you might be wondering what these last two sections are for back here. Well, you're actually going to bend them down so that they make a flat surface right there. So you're going to open one, fill the gap between it with glue, and then press down make it a flat surface and we'll hold it for about 20 seconds and there's this other piece we'll wait another 10 seconds for it to dry And this other piece here, you'll see it doesn't quite fit. So we're just going to trim down the edge so then it does fit. So then we'll open it up, take some hot glue, put it in 
the gap. And then we'll bend it back down again, making it level, flat surface. Stick a little bit of glue right here. Got these two glue together. And we'll wait like 20, 20 seconds for it to dry. Then you'll have the main portion of your fuselage done. Okay, so now that that's dry, we're going to go ahead and move on to the canopy slash cockpit, which you'll need this piece right here. So we're going to set the fuselage piece aside. We're going to do it second. Well, now we'll open all the gaps. So you're going to take your barbecue skewer, you're going to drag it through every score line, except for these ones. And then we'll be ready for the next step. we've dragged our barbecue skewer through every single score cut except for these ones you can just gently bend these and then you can take like two sections and bend it down so that they go together and as you can see if you take it to your fuselage they'll just fit on Line it up section by section. So we're going to take these two sections right here and we're going to put hot glue in between and on the sides of the sections of the sections. And then we can bend it down and hold it so that they glue together. And then this, when you're gluing it on to the fuselage piece is quite tricky. Dang it, it's coming undone. Just, just put more glue. And we'll hold it down for another like 20 seconds just to give it real thorough glue job. Wait another five seconds. Now it should be dry. And we'll do the next section, which I forgot to do this on the first one, but you're going to bend each section individually. Okay, so now we'll do this section right here by bending them so that they meet. Okay. 
can see that it just goes on to your fuselage. So we'll go ahead and do this one side at a time. And put some glue on this side. Then bend them to connect. Go ahead. I don't want to let go of this. I'm just going to wipe it on here. That didn't really do anything. We'll hold it for another 15 seconds for it to dry. I think the hardest piece to make on this plane is the plunger because it's just so darn small like this is my hand there's the entire piece it's tiny and you have to bend it so now that that side's dry we'll do the other side take some glue put it along here and we'll Put them together. Take a scrap piece of foam, put it on there, wipe the excess glue. And we'll hold it for another, I'd say, 15 seconds. seconds. And it should be dry. Now we just have the last section to do. Now, so we'll bend every individual part and we'll do it one side at a time. So we'll put some glue along here. And we'll bend it that it meets with this section over. Then we'll take a scrap piece of foam. Wipe the excess glue. And we'll wait another 15 seconds. Now we'll do the other side. Go ahead and put some glue along here. And we'll bend it down so that it connects. Take a scrap piece of foam, wipe the excess glue, then hold it for about 15 seconds. Now that that's dry, we can test fit it on our fuselage. It's going to be a little bit tricky to get it to go on. There you go, you got your fuselage with its canopy. So we'll go ahead, I like to do this one side at a time so that I can glue it glue it onto this side and then bend it glue it onto that side so I take it so that the face is like this put glue along 
this side. And we'll glue it onto the fuselage. And this might look a little weird, but you're just going to hold it there for about a minute to make sure that it thoroughly dries. Trying to get it to fit onto it as best as you can, because it's going to be a little bit tricky. It's a tight fit. Another 20 seconds. Five seconds. Now it's pretty dry. So as you can see, this other side is not is not fitting on so well. So we'll just have to bend it and push it so that it fits on correctly like this so now we'll bend it out a little bit and we'll put a hot glue on here little bit up here. Then we'll just try to bend it as best as we can so that it fits on the fuselage. I like to take my barbecue skewer just to get in here and bring that part up so that it fits. Dang it. Lost it. Hold it for about a minute. This is gonna be kind of weird looking, but if you take a step back, you won't really notice it too much. Hold it for another like 20 seconds just to fill the gaps. I like to put a little bit of hot glue right here. Then just hold it down. Hold we'll it for another like five seconds. Then you should have your entire fuselage built. Now, we're going to do an optional part, the plunger. It doesn't really need it, but it's just a cool little decoration. So you actually don't need to drag your barbecue skewer through these, you just bend them. Go ahead and bend all of them right now. this front section doesn't really need it. You can just squeeze those together and it'll make the little shape. So, go ahead and do this first section. Take our hot glue gun, just put a little bit of hot glue in it, and then take the sides, put it together. That pretty much gives you the shape that you need.
wait another five seconds. And it should be dry. Oh gosh. So now, you need to do the next sections. There you'll just kind of bend them onto the piece. So you can just put some hot glue along here. And then bend it and connect it. Ow, 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 ow. Hot glue's hot. Now that that's pretty dry, we can do the other side, which we'll just put some hot glue along here, a little bit right here. Then we'll bend it so that it connects with the other side. And we'll hold it there for about 20 seconds. Go ahead and take some scrap foam, wipe the excess glue, and then hold it for maybe another 10 seconds. There's a slight angle to it right now. It's not an entire bend, but there's a slight angle to it. And just so you know, since it's so small, it's not going to turn out perfect. It's just going to kind of turn out the way it wants to. It's not going to be very good. So now we'll do the next section. You just bend it until it meets. And then we'll put some hot glue. Oh gosh. Along here. And we'll bend it to connect with the other sections. Get it real close. Now it's making a dome shape, which is good. Okay, so now that's dry, we'll do the other side. Put some hot glue along here in the end. And we'll take it and bend it so it connects with the other ones. Ow, ow, ow. Try not to burn yourself. I am burning myself. This one's kind of hard, so we'll just push it together and hope for the best. Hold it for another like five seconds. And now it's dry. So we'll do the next section. So we'll just bend it. That looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and take our glue gun. Put glue along here. And bend it. If you haven't 
couldn't tell, there's a lot of bending in this plane. I'll hold it for about 20 seconds. Hold it for another like five seconds. And now it's dry. So we'll do the last part. Dang it. We'll get some tape. Just take a little piece of tape, put it on the end. And stick it back where it was supposed to be. Nothing happened. So then we'll bend it. That looks pretty good. So now we'll take our hot glue gun. Put, oh gosh, I'm out of hot glue. Then we'll put hot glue along this. And the end. Then we'll bend it and hold it together for about 30 seconds. Actually, we'll just hold it for another like 10 seconds because this is drying real fast. dry. So as you can see, mine's like lopsided. So you can like try to bend it a little bit and fix it, but it doesn't matter that much. That'll just go right there. But we're not going to do that yet cuz I don't want to we don't want to risk damaging it while we're putting our other parts on. So we'll just set this aside. So now we are going to insert the wing the canard and we're gonna glue these together. So we'll start with the wing. Let me check where that's exactly supposed to go. Because I don't totally remember. So on this one, it's about half of the second to last section to about half of the for the middle section. So that is about here to here. So we'll go ahead and mark that with our finger. And we'll cut about half a foam length away from the line. All the way to the other side. And then half a foam length away on the other side of the line. Oh gosh, I went too far. And we'll make it full cut, pull it out, perfect it a little bit, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Mark it with our thumb about halfway, and about halfway, cut about half a foam length away from the line. Oh gosh, that got messed up. All the way to the other marking, and half foam lengths away from the line, all the way to the other marking. Then we'll finish out that cut. And then there's your wing insert hole. So you can just go ahead, stick it through, try not to bend it. Here we go. Get 
Dang it, I keep bending it. And once you can't see, try to center it up. So that looks even on each side. Like that. That looks pretty good. And we'll just put glue along here and along the bottom. Same on the other side. I'll just get a scrap piece of foam and wipe the excess glue off. Then, you now have a wing. So now it's time for the canard. And on the other one, it's right here. So we'll go about halfway through this front section from here. And then the same on the other side. Then we'll cut half the foam length away from the line right here. And half of the foam length away from the line right there. And we'll cut. Finish out the cut. Perfect it a little bit. And then we'll do the other side. Cut about half of foam lengths away from the line. About half of foam lengths away from the line. And finish out the cut. Now you have the insert holes for your canard. Then you can just slide it through. Try not to bend it too much. This one is a lot easier to bend on accident. Gosh, I'm going to cut a little bit more so I don't wreck my canard. A little bit of a relief cut right there. And we'll do the same on the other side. So I just cut it a little bit longer on either side to make it a little bit easier to wiggle through. There we go. Then you're going to center it up, which that looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit more on the other side. That looks good. And then we're going to do the same thing that we just did for the wing on the canard. And then we'll take another scrap piece of foam and wipe the excess glue off. Ow! Just touch the hot glue. Good thing that it's durable. Okay. Gave myself a pretty bad burn. That's fine. And then now we can put the fuselage aside, or the entire thing aside. Take these, put a little bit of glue on one side, and then line it up, stick it together. And hold it down. So, if you actually wanted this thing to like fly and if you're making it RC or something, you're gonna wanna make this vertical stabilizer like two times the size because it doesn't really do that much, but it, it's, a, it's good enough for a check glider. So, now, as you can see, this will just fit on here, right on the back. 
And then, so now that you test fitted it, you can put some hot glue along here. And then you can stick it on, making sure that it's pointing the right way. And this is personally my favorite part of the Larry Mobile because it just lets you know that it's the Larry Mobile. Makes it kind of look like an alien spaceship or something. I just think it's cool. Now that it's lined up, you can hold it down to dry for about 20 seconds. another in like five seconds and now that it's dry we can go ahead and put on our plunger you'll just put some hot glue right here stick it on and hold it so we'll go ahead and do that we'll just put some glue there Stick it on and hold it for about, I'd say, 30 seconds just to make sure that it's not going to fall off. And then you're done with your Larry Mobile. What I did to balance it is I just took a penny. I cut a little slit right here, stuck the penny in, put some glue, and then that seemed to balance it. So yeah. There's your Larry Mobile. Go ahead and take the camera off the tripod there. And there's your Larry Mobile. We kept it to about an hour long, which is kind of what I wanted. So it wouldn't take so long to export. So there you go. That's how you build a Aerotech Planes Larry Mobile Chuck Glider. So thanks for watching. Subscribe. And that lets me know that I should keep making videos because I don't want them to just go to waste and nobody watch them. So thanks for watching again. Subscribe. Comment below on other planes you'd like to see me design either from cartoon or real life planes. And see you next time. Thanks for watching.